In our midst this morning, I'd like you to join me to recognize and welcome our former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Olusegun Obasanjo. You are welcome. You are welcome. Amen. Just a recognition. You'll be called upon later. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Amen. Okay, you can do it. Uh, okay, sir. So you will do the you will do it now, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. How many of you could see him uh, almost jumping to the, through the stairs? Always active, ever excited. We are so glad to have you here. Um, we will please get seated. We will listen to him give us goodwill to the celebrant of the day. If they are Lord Temporal here, I will say my Lord Temporal if you are here. But my Lord Government, I think they are here. Lord, no. Go and sit down. Well, I thought you have done your job. You were supposed to introduce me. I came onto the podium, and you said it's not time for me to give goodwill message. I was going down, then you called me back. And then, and then you decided to stand on the podium with me. Now, you want to tell me what to say? <laughs> or why did you want to stay here with me? If it has been Pastor Adeboye who came here to stand with me, I won't ask him to go and sit down. Because when he thinks that I'm going astray, he will pull me back. This day is for me a great day. And Bishop Oyedeko and family, it's for you a great day. I came to Ota in 1979 and I started farming here in Ota. 
And because of a passenger farm, Otter got a new recognition, both locally and internationally. <laughs> then, then 10 years after I've got to Otta, Bishop Oyedebo got the call to come to Lagos. And he made the way and came to Ota. Ota is not Lagos, so. <laughs> Maybe he didn't make his way. He started something small in Ota and came to, uh, he started something small in Lagos. Governor Lagos, take note of that. And then he came to Ota and started something big. So, all those of you who find Lagos not comfortable enough, come to Ogun State. We will accept you. <laughs> Governor Lagos, shake hands with your friend now, Governor Ogun State, Abby. And then, Bishop Boyedebo started what we put Otta on the map of Nigeria more than what has ever put Otta on the map of Nigeria. He built it to something that has put Otta on the map of Africa more than anything else. He built it into something that has put Otta on the map of the world. If then you don't know anything they call miracle, if this edifice that we are in can be built in one year and you say that is not a near miracle, in one year, Here in Ota. I used to pull the leg of Bishop Oyedepo. I say, I senior him to come to Ota. And he came to Ota and took the first position. <laughs> then I say, Leave him for God. <laughs> very many things about Bishop Boyedeko that is worthy of emulation. His humility is infectious.
on a number of occasions I've heard him referring to Pastor Adeboye reverently humbly and graciously So when I talk about both of them now they will hear this for the first time today I refer to Pastor Deboe as SP not small pox so. <laughs> senior pastor and I refer to Bishop Oyedepo as JP <laughs> so those who know when I say um, I talk about JP they know who I'm talking about <laughs> and when I talk about SP they know who I'm talking about I copy that from two of my former colleagues. I call one SP Senior General and the other one JP Junior General. Um, I said a lot of things, a lot of attributes worthy of emulation from Bishop Boyedepo. <laughs> and he couldn't have been doing what he has been doing and achieving what he has been achieving without his proximity to God. The lesson to learn from that, if you want to, a miracle is still happening. I've told you this is near miracle. It'll be in a bigger one. I've seen it. I've been there. In time of size, is greater miracle than this. And as an engineer, we see that it's an engineering miracle. <laughs> you can achieve miracle in your life. And the way to do that is to be closer to God. <laughs> and if you are closer to God, God will be close to you. When you are far from God, you do not even appreciate the great work of God. It's like that young boy he saw the aircraft going in the air the sky and he said to the father ah, it's a small bird and the father said no it's not a small bird it's a big machine no he said father you maybe you don't see what I see. It's a small bird. And the father said, well, look, for you to know that it's not a small bird, come. And he took him to the airport. And when he got to the airport, he said, look, there it is. 
Oh. Paul said, yeah, but that one is far. And then the father said, yes. The closer you are, the more you will appreciate. I appreciate you because you are close. And God appreciates you because you are close to God. God will keep expanding your coast. <laughs> Today, you are joining the club of septuagenarians. You are welcome. And I say on behalf of Pastor Adeboye that you are welcome. <laughs> you see, People may be asking, what is left? Ah, what is left? At 70, One thing that you can never stop doing and you must never stop doing is thanking God. And then from septuagenarian you become octogenarian. <laughs> and I will be here with you. From octogenarian, you become nonagerarian. I will also be here with you. After that, I will leave you alone and God will be with you. <laughs>